afternoon, everyone. I'm dressed up because I just got back from the concert where I sang Nature Boy, and it went over very well. Thank you for everyone except for Barb saying that I should do Nature Boy. <laughs> Alright, so I'm finally going to do the spring break wrap-up that I've been telling you about. Uh, it's only a week late? Yeah, I got back six days ago, so. Spring break answered a lot of questions for me. It answered the question, should I be at BU? Is it worth it for me to go back to LICO? Am I happy at BU? And the answer to all those questions is, oh my god, I'm so glad I'm at BU. <laughs> like, no joke. <laughs> Over the course of the time while I was at LICO, I managed to lose two of my closest friends there. The dumb understanding, and I don't know if it's that they changed or that I changed, but our views don't quite line up anymore, and that became blaringly apparent. So, I'm, I'm sad to lose, and they went so far as unfriending me on Facebook, which is like the ultimate slap in the face for a college student. <laughs> that's the end of it for now, and that's life. You, people come, people go. As Kermit the Frog, as Bob Cratchit said, life is full of comings and goings. And this was a going. He didn't say this was going. Anyway, the bus ride back. Very uneventful, except for I got stuck next to a sorority girl. That was fun. But <laughs> other than that, it was a bus ride. Very long. I've been back to the Peabody. Ooh, I got my drawing back and I wanted to show you guys. I went back to the Peabody for my Maya class. But that reminded me that I wanted to show you guys my drawing of the lizard man jar. And if you don't know what I'm talking about with the lizard man jar, you should watch my video about Mesoamerican versus South American archaeology. Alright, this is my drawing of the jar. Woo. I'm not an artist, but not too terrible. There's, there's the lizard man. There's the little dog. There, there wasn't a little circle. I, I had to number things for my paper, but it's my lizard man drawing. I'm actually quite proud of it. Last night I went to the semifinals of Hockey East, where BU was playing against BC, and I was really excited to finally get to go to a BC game because I've never been to one. All of my games that I've been to have been either UMass Lowell or UMass Amherst. And we won! Oh my god, it was so annoying because I couldn't scream because I had this concert in the morning, so I was like, go be you, go be you, and it was so annoying. But we won, so that means I'm going to the finals tonight with my friends. Super excited. And... Ev it's against UMass Lowell, who we've trounced every time that we've played them, so not really worried, but it was so intense in the BC game. There was, like, nobody scored for the first, like, for the first period. Second period, BC got one goal, and then BU came out, and we, our team is very vengeful. <laughs> if they score on us first, in 44 seconds, we got three goals. Three! It was insane. We would just finish cheering for one, and then they'd be like, "Be you gold," and we'd be like, "Ah!" One thing that we do that I'm really torn on is our our sportsmanship is not the best for the fans. The, the standard cheer for BU is we do a lot of clapping, and then we say, "Fuck 'em up, fuck 'em up." BC sucks. Go BU, go BU. And, we also do this thing when they announce the player, we turn around and we go, whoa, sucks, after they say the name. I don't like that. Maybe it's because at my school we did like games where sportsmanship was the object of the game. We, we had fan competitions where you couldn't be like, you suck, or God, God help them if they said the word fuck in a, in a cheer. They, they would be out of the game and like they would dock us serious points. So I, I'm a very positive cheer and it's hard for me. To be like, because I don't, I don't really say the f bomb. I have to be really mad, like, like unconscionably mad, or scared. Anyway, th that is my very random spring break ra wrap up, ho concert wrap up, hockey game, semifinal wrap up, and yeah. Hope things are great with you. And as always, let me know what you think.